Tonight, we're returning to one of the scariest locations we've ever covered on our channel. This is the Indiana State Sanatorium. This place is known to get dark at times. And these spirits know us, they remember us. People have been scratched, people have been pushed, even objects have been thrown. Dude, that was a big bang down there. That sounded like somebody like hit a door or yeah. something. And now that's going. And that goes off. Christopher. Yeah. And then that goes off for the first time this whole time. I can see you though. That was so clear. That literally sounded like somebody like running across the floor up there. Yo. That's the one behind us. That one's going nuts. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. It's week four of the October videos. Guys, tonight we're returning to one of the scariest locations we've ever covered on our channel. This is the Indiana State Sanatorium. Now, this location is so intense, we had to come back for more. It began as a tuberculosis hospital in 1911 and has served in that capacity until 1968 when it closed its doors for good. Now, it would be closed for a handful of years before it would reopen in 1976 as a Lee Allen Bryant facility. This would serve as a combination psychiatric hospital and nursing home. It served in this capacity until 2011 when the state actually came in and closed them down due to reports of patient neglect and abuse. Patients were known to wander the property, get lost in the woods, even drown in the river or be hit by cars out front. As you guys know for the October videos, we jump right into solos when we get here. I'm going back down to the the nursing home where I had my solo during the alone series. I was actually zip tied to a chair down there. Yeah, we caught some incredible evidence while you were down there. I'm going back to the admin building where it sounded like things were being moved, dragged across the floors. It was just a wild session for me. Yeah, so we're gonna jump right into the solos and this place is known to get dark at times. People have been scratched, people have been pushed, even objects have been thrown at the people who visit this location. Now, over the last year, we've returned here a number of times for some events and these spirits know us, they remember us. So it's gonna be a very interesting night to come back to a location for the first time on this channel. I'm going this way, you're going that way. I'll see you in a little while. Good yeah. luck. Good luck. All right, guys. You guys might remember from the Alone series, I was just down here in the middle of the nursing home. Uh, this place does not get less terrifying the more we come here. Um, it's, it looks like a horror movie, you know what I mean? Every room, you feel like someone's gonna be sitting in here waiting for you to look in. Um, sometimes that feels like it's an active hospital. Here we go. Back down to admin. Guys, this place is, absolutely terrifying it really is there's so many long hallways and corridors that connects the three separate buildings up here it just seems like it never ends all right guys we've made it this is the nurse's station if you guys remember i was zip tied right in the middle here there's four hallways surrounding me so uh, see this chair right here it's going to be really important later on admin building now this was the original tuberculosis hospital when the property first opened. It would later transition to the administration building, uh, but there are patient rooms upstairs, offices, all kinds of stuff going on in here. Um, it's a really, really freaky building, but we're gonna get into some EVPs in here. I'm gonna do a few sessions, and then Dylan and I are gonna meet up and continue out throughout the property for the rest of the night, but let's get the IR light on, let's get into EVPs, and see what ISS has for us tonight. This place is just terrifying, guys. I mean, it has the aesthetic. If you guys haven't seen our alone series where we covered this location, Go back and watch it. We had some insane evidence from this location. Steve's shirt got tugged. Um, we caught like a shadow going over me when I was doing my solo. It was absolutely crazy. You just need to go back and watch it. But I'm excited to see what we get tonight because like Steve was saying, they know us here. They're familiar with us, right? A lot of these locations we go to, it's our first time ever visiting there. But somewhere like this that we've already covered on the channel and we're here annually, you know, we're here a lot. Um, I'm excited to see what type of activity we get. So let's just kind of jump into it. All right, my name is Dylan. As I was just saying, I've been here before. This little silver box in my hand right here. If you speak into it, I should be able to hear you. So I'm gonna try to talk to you really quick. I'm gonna ask you a handful of questions. Then I'm gonna go get my friend Steve and we're gonna come back here and try to talk to you, okay? All right, three, two, one. I just said my name, can you say it back to me, please? All right, here we go. It is pitch black in here, guys. I forgot how dark this place was. On the count of three, here we go. One, two, three. Is there anybody in here with me right now? My name is Steve. Can I have your name?
What was this building used for? One, two, three. There's footsteps or something out there. I hear movement. Off to a good start here. Can you see me? Did you just make a noise down that hallway? Did I just hear you? Are you excited that we're back to talk to you? Three, two, one. Guys, I can hear my heartbeat um, like through my beanie. I don't think that's a good thing. Uh, like I said, it doesn't get easier coming to this location because it's absolutely terrifying. This place is, it just feels off. All right, let's play this back. Is there anybody in here with me right now? My name is Steve. Can I have your name? What was this building used for? What the fuck is that? What the hell is that? What the hell is that? That just sounded like running? I have no idea what that was. Holy shit. Let's see what we got. I hope the camera picked up whatever that noise was too. I don't know what it was. It almost sounded like a hiss. So that makes me sad, but let's see if we picked up anything. I just said my name. Can you say it back to me, please? Can you see? Right at the end? I just said my name. Can you say it back to me, please? It's Can like it me? is Dylan, maybe? I can't make out the first two words. I just said my name. Can you say it back to me, please? Can I don't you know. see me? I can see you. Yo, that is so clear. Can you say it back to me, please? Can you see me? I can see you. I couldn't make out the last two. I can see you though, that was so clear. Let's finish playing this back quick. Oh, that was the end of it. I have no idea what those noises were though. That literally sounded like somebody like running across the floor up there. That was so loud. All right, I'm gonna do the same exact thing. I'm gonna try asking you some questions using this little silver box, okay? If you speak into it, I should be able to hear your voice. All right, three, two, one. What's your room number? Do you like having visitors? Do you know what month it is? Are you going to show yourself to one of us tonight? There's another like tap on the wall. I don't know what that was. There's a lot of noises. We haven't even like settled in yet. You know what I mean? It's only the first solos. I'm hearing a lot of stuff around me and I'm not a big fan of it. I'm going to be honest. All right, let's get into our next session. Here we go. One, two, three. Who's running around upstairs? Can you see me? Are you sick? One, two, three. 
Here we go. Who's running around upstairs? Can you see me? There's something right there. Who's running around upstairs? Can you see me? Are you sure? Say yes. Who's running around upstairs? Can you see me? Yeah, it's like yeah. He doesn't say anything on the last one. So it says they can see me. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but let's do one more session, guys. Let's ask one more round of questions, and then we'll go meet up with Dylan. And uh, we're going to get started over in the psychiatric building first. So one more round of questions, and then we'll go find him. Let's go. Play us back quick. What's your room number? Do you like having visit? There's something there. Sounds like it says November. No. Hey, like that visitor? You know what month it is? Are you going to show yourself to one of us tonight? I'm going to play that one more time. I couldn't make out the last one. November. Are you going to show yourself to one of us tonight? Yeah, it's like, yes, I will. Uh, that's creepy. I don't like that. One, two, three. Can you say tuberculosis? How old are you? If you remember me, can you say my name, please? One, two, three. There is a lot of movement over there. There's so much movement. I'm gonna ask you a couple more questions. If you can, I'd appreciate it if you could talk to me. Three, two, one. What the fuck was that? Hello? Everybody just started, it was like a loud knock down there. All right. Let's try that again, shall we? Three, two, one. Did you just make a noise down there? Let's play these back. Nothing super clear on that. Nothing super clear on the last one. Oh. What is that? What is that? That literally sounds like somebody walking. I can't tell where it's coming from. I can't tell if it's on the stairs or if it's over there in that doorway. It sounds like there's somebody walking right over there. This place, man, I don't know. I. It freaks me out every time I'm here. There, there's always such loud activity. And being here by yourself is such a weird feeling. It feels like it's still, what the fuck was that? It feels like it's still, what the fuck was that? It feels like it's still, what the fuck was that? That literally just sounded like a door. What is going on? Guys, that's where I have to go. I have to go out that way. There's something over there. Are you gonna mess with Steve when he's down here alone? Can you say, Happy Halloween? Can you say the name of this location? Three, 
too. Hold on. I don't like wearing a beanie because it like muffles all the sound around me and it makes me a little sketched out, not gonna lie. But uh, let's see what this last session got. And uh, it's about that time to link back up with Steve, see what he got down in the admin building. That's what I'm saying though, like this place is loud, it's intense, it's in your face all the time. They're never subtle here. I've had some of the craziest experiences I've ever had at this location. That's why we had to come back. We had to come back for more because it's such an intense location. That's a different voice. Can make it up. Does that say it? it's like happy? Can make that up. That says it. Happy Halloween. Could make out the last part. For sure it says Happy Halloween. Um, so again, just proving the intelligence of this location. They're responding directly to me. I don't know, my camera's got all blurry. Um, but it's about that time. I'm gonna go link up with Steve, see what he got during his solo. And uh, then we're gonna go over, do an Estes method and get going here at Indiana State Sanatorium. I don't know guys, that was an insane first session. The EVPs weren't that loud or that clear, but the knocks, we had some super loud bangs. It sounded like a door closed. There's footsteps. There's people just walking around and we just got started. We still have to do a whole nother solo later tonight. I don't, I don't know what to expect. This place is absolutely insane as always. So let's get into it. Let's go find Dylan. We're going to start over in the psychiatric building with an Estes session. Um, so let's get into it guys. Let's go see what we can get. All right, guys, so now we're in the psychiatric hospital building. We're on the third floor. We moved over here. We're gonna do an Estes session now. I have the headphones, the blindfold, and the spirit box. I'm gonna go under. Dylan has the um, REM pod set up down here, music box that way over there. So we're gonna see if we can make contact with any of the patients or the staff that used to be in this building through the Estes method uh, before moving back throughout the property and the other buildings. So I'm gonna go under. Good luck up here. A um, lot of weird things up here. Shadow figures, knocks, footsteps. So yeah, you're gonna have fun. Yeah, should be great. Good luck. Good luck to you. Yeah, so right down here, um, we have the music box set up further down this hallway, and we have the REM pod in this doorway just behind us here. Um, this will just kind of show us if anyone's trying to join us, because it seems like, um, you know, there's a lot of ground to cover, as you can see. So maybe they'll join us from different hallways or different floors. Looks like he's going under, though. If you guys don't know what the Estes is, he's listening to a spirit box right now. He's going to repeat whatever he hears, and hopefully we can have a conversation with the spirits that way. Um, seems like it might be a little bit easier for them to communicate that way. My name is Dylan. This is my friend Steve over here with the headphones on, sitting in this chair. Whatever you tell him, he's going to repeat so that I can hear. Hello. Hello. What's your name? Who is that? That was weird. It was like a whisper. It was like, who is that? My name is Dylan. What's your name? No. Him. No. It was very, it was like, no. Him. This guy right here? Can you see who I'm pointing to? Other one. Other one? Uh. Yo, what if it's... Dude, I hate to bring it up, right? I haven't believed in attachments until this thing happened, like this whole saga has happened to us. Is there someone who- Turn around. Him. Yo, I just got the worst chills. There's someone standing behind me. Yeah, I have full body goosebumps right now. That's actually crazy. Are you telling me there's someone right by the elevator right over here? Maybe. Great. Um, can you tell me his name? Or do you know his name? Does he look familiar? Have they been, this person, have they been following us? They're not from here, right? Right? That was loud too. That was like a loud male voice. Are you able to talk to them? Can you interact with whoever this is right here? Why are they standing behind me though? That's awful. Don't be weird. Me? No, not you. Whoever's standing over here. All right, can I get your name just so we can differentiate who I'm talking to right here? 
Who's over by the elevator right here? What is this person's name who was just standing behind me? Can dark? We... Dark. Again, that is something we've gotten at every single location. It's this dark entity. It's this negative thing, right? And it's standing behind me. Becca at Madison Seminary. There was a male voice. I couldn't make out what it said. Becca told us that it was following me, that it was tethered to me. And it's standing directly behind me as we started this session. So there's a dark entity right here. You don't know its name. Can you give me your name? Run. Why do we get run everywhere? I don't run. I will walk briskly. Behind him. Behind him. No. Are we surrounded right now? I don't know where to look. This is taking an awful start. Jesus, oh my God. Whew. I'm so jumpy right now. Music box is going off though, so that hurts my feelings. You guys, I don't know if you guys- It's him. It, it's him, oh good. Is this the negative entity? The dark entity you were just describing? Is it now walking down the hallway? I just shook so hard. Oh my God, that was so bad. That scared me so bad. Is this negative entity walking down the hallway that I'm pointing towards right now? Did it just set off the music box? Female voice, I couldn't make it out. Whew. You take a breather after that one. That got me good. If you just set off the music box down there, can you do it again? Just step in front of it. It'll play that song. I just heard like a whisper. I don't know what it said. It was like a really, really raspy, just like ah, something over in this general direction. Did I just hear you? You did. It was like, you did. The hell? Hear me? You did hear me though. Great. Both male voices, two different male voices, but both male voices. So it's like the person I've been talking to said you did and whatever this entity is said hear me, I would assume. Are you trying to scare us? We've been to this location before. This isn't any Female voice, couldn't make it out. This isn't anything new to us. This entity that's been following us, it talks a big game that it doesn't do anything. What are you gonna do tonight that's so different? You gonna show yourself? I just jumped so bad again. That's cool. I appreciate that you're setting off the device if you're the friendly person, but can you do something more? Female voice again, couldn't make it out. If there's someone down that hallway, can you come join us in the middle over here? We're trying to talk to you. We wanna learn more about you and the history of this location. We come here all the time. You might recognize us. We're all the way from New York. Literally, as I was talking, there's just a noise down there. Are you walking down this hallway to my left? There's been a lot of noises tonight. I'm not a big fan of it. That was close, big fan of it. That was close, big fan of it. That was close. Yo, that was right in that doorway. It's like they're creeping. See me. No, I can't see you. Are you gonna show yourself to me? I think I just heard you. I did. I did, I must have missed you, I'm sorry. I don't know where to look. If you show me where you are, I can look that way. So hopefully I can see you. Lights? Lights. The red lights over here? I can look this way. Get the REM pot on the ground, the red light. Is that what you're referring to? This hallway right here? Are you from this building? From either the, the Indiana State Sanatorium or the Lee Allen Bryant facility? Were you a patient here? Final? Final. Were you one of the last patients who was here? Music box. Oh, that's so creepy. Let's see if I can catch it. How it lights up the hallway, that's actually terrifying. I hate that. 
Can you step out of the way so that stops? Just step to the side of the hallway so that music box stops for me. That's terrifying actually. That's, that's straight out of a horror movie. I'll come down. You can come down the hallway if you want. Just step out of the way so that music box stops. Why is it just consistently going now? Can you step back so that it stops? Come down here and talk to Steve so I can hear you. Scare him. Scare him. I don't know why he said it like that, but it made me jump. Are you gonna come down here and scare me? Are you saying the music box is scaring me? What do you mean? That's just consistently going off now. It's like someone just standing in the middle of the hallway. Do you want me to walk down there a little bit? Hurt him? Hurt, hurt him. Again, now it's this negative entity. He's like made a comeback. Do you want me to walk down that hallway a little bit? Step to the sides, so that music box That was stops. weird. It sounded like, um, like a heartbeat monitor. It was like three or four beats. It was like boop, boop, boop. Now the drum pod's going off. If you want me to walk down that hallway where the music box is, can you make it stop? Step to the side so the music box stops. There's no use, deep voice, there's no use. There's no use. Why they always gotta be ominous? Why can't you just like speak straight up? Tell me what's going on. Always saying you're doomed, there's no use, run. Can't just give me all the details immediately, come on. That's awful. If you don't step to the side, I'm gonna walk down there and turn that off. It's great that you're using it. The people? Are there people in the hallway setting it off? Wait for it. I'm waiting. Step to the side, please, so it stops. I'm gonna have to turn it off. I don't really wanna go down there. That's why I'm still standing here. This floor has a really, really weird vibe to it. Like there's nothing down here that could be setting this off. It sounded like a, a whispered, like female voice just goes, Dylan? That's awful. All right, sorry I had to turn it off. That was stressful. But the female's gotten closer and she knows my name apparently. What's your name? How do you know me? I'm sorry I turned off that music box, but if you want to talk to us, come down here in the center. Kind of like the day area. If you talk to my friend Steve, he's gonna be able to hear you, repeat whatever you tell him. We're only gonna be up here for a couple more minutes. We're gonna to head to a different part of the building. So if you have any final messages for us, Anything you want to tell us, you got to do it pretty soon. If you want to, you can follow us to the nursing home, the next part of the building we're going to. I feel like I keep seeing something at the end of the hallway. I can't tell what it is though. It's like a shadow right behind that chair down there. I don't know. Are you down at the end of the hallway near the staircase? Can I see you right now? Female voice, but I couldn't make it out. That's actually kind of interesting. When I walked down the hallway, he heard the female voice say Dylan. But when I'm down here, he can't make out whatever the female voice is saying. Are you able to speak better when I'm near you? That's kind of weird. It's like, do they, do they draw from our life? Evil. Evil. You, everywhere. Evil everywhere. Male voice said evil, female said everywhere. Do you feel safe when I'm down there? Is that why we're able to hear you better? Is that why you stood in front of the music box so I could walk down there? What the fuck was that? 
I don't know what that was. I actually don't know what that was. I'm going to zoom in down there to hopefully see. That was a loud noise. I can't tell if it was like vocal. I hate it, whatever it was. No offense. Did I just hear you? It was like down near the stairs though, exactly where I was seeing. Surrounded, as per usual. I'm going to tap Steve out in a second here, and he's not going to be able to hear you anymore. Do you have any final messages? Anything we should know before we head downstairs? It just got like really cold just in front of me, like on my knees, like the front of my legs just got really cold. All right, I'm going to tap him out now. If you want to follow us to the nursing home and continue this conversation, feel free. We're going to set up some more devices, maybe use the voice recorders. We can continue this conversation, okay? Sound good? I'm going to tap him out though. Head to the next section. That's fun. There's no good way to do that. No. Um, it's going back and forth. It was like we were talking to the patients here and then you said, uh, you started talking about evil, you know, yeah. this, whatever's following us apparently. Um, and then he said behind you and I spun around and I pointed toward the elevator and like, is there someone standing here? You said, yes. It was like a direct conversation. It was almost like I was talking to one of the residents right. about whatever's following us. Oh. Um, and then the music box went off a couple times. So that was oh, pretty awful. Good. Um, heard a ton of noises in the hallways too. So surrounded as per usual. Okay. But, uh, that weird, okay. very weird. Right, well, the voices were strange. It was like. A guy would say something and then it was almost like the female voice would finish the sentence sometimes. Yeah. It was like he would say one part, she would say the next part. The female voices weren't coming through as clear. Yeah. Um, the one that whispered your name did though. That was weird. It was literally like, Dylan? Like it was like surprised. Yeah. It was weird too because you kept saying like female voice, I couldn't make it out. The music box was going off. It was like someone was just standing there. So I said, if you don't turn that off, I'm going to go down there and shut it off. Right. And I walked down there and that's when you said Dylan. So I'm like, does it give them power right. when we get close to them? Right. You know? It was weird. It was literally like she was like surprised. It was like, Dylan? Like, right. It was, it was just weird timing, I guess. Strange. I don't know. But head down to the uh, nursing home. Let's do it. Let's do it. Really quick, guys. If you're enjoying this video, make sure you drop down below and give us a like. Because if we get 3,000 likes on this video, we're going to head to Radford, Virginia and check out the St. Albans Sanatorium. So guys, drop a like. Let's get back in the investigation. All right, guys, we made it down to the nursing home now. We have equipment set up in every single hallway. We have Mel's, uh, REM pods, music boxes everywhere. So we're going to see if uh, someone wants to make contact with us down here. This location in particular, I hate this part of the building. It is aesthetically probably the scariest part. And, you know, I have a special uh, attachment to it. Yeah, you got to be zip tied to a chair right here. I, yeah. I hope you had a great time it with that. So fun. One of the best coin flips to possibly win was that one. So I was so glad I didn't lose that last year. If you guys haven't seen that video yet, go back on our channel, the last year, of the alone series, check out the video. He had a crazy session here, zip tied to a chair. So go check that out. Thanks. But right behind you, this hallway, this is where I had my shirt tug. We caught that on camera as well. Yeah. Coming out of that door right over there. We had some weird stuff going on down there. We saw like shadows and lights. I went down there and I got my shirt tugged. So a really weird area for us. And we've yeah. had a lot of intense activity. So hopefully they want to communicate using any. Excuse that was the, the Mel. No, the Mel just went off. Oh, really? Yeah. It was one hit, but I heard it. See? Yeah, right there. Can you touch the top of that so it lights up? It's the same one though. Yeah. There's a device set up in every hallway. If you get close to them, they light up and change colors, make some noise. That's all they do. They just allow us to know that you hear our voice. We've been here before. My name's Dylan. This is Steve. I talked to you a little bit earlier. I said I was going to come back. It's going off still. Yeah. Can you get... Again, all you got to do is grab the top of one of these things and it lets us know where you are and we can talk to you. Or this thing that seemed to, seems to be following us. Are you here? You made your presence known in the five story, the psych building. There's noise down there. Yeah, yeah, that was that way. If you're down that hallway, set off that device right there. Oh, that was what behind was you. That? that was down there. That Yo, was so loud. That's something you said too when I was up there. You kept saying behind you, behind you. Dude, that was a big bang down there. That sounded like somebody like hit a door or yeah. something down this hallway behind you. 
Are That's you the thing, right? There's so many hallways here. Yeah. Like, it's every single spot, there's a hallway down each like corner. You're just in the middle, basically. Right. Can you make another loud noise for us? Hello? Is that a voice? Hello? Is that a voice? Hello? Is that a voice? I can't tell. It sounded like it was down this hallway again, though. Hello? Can you slam a door? Knock on a wall? Throw something? You just feel like you're being watched from every single corner of this building at all times. Yeah, imagine being zip tied here. No, I don't want to. I'm telling you, that was the greatest coin flip to win. Somebody pulled on my shirt over here last year. Is that person here? If you're here, can you make a noise for me? What is that? It's like right behind us. If you're walking up behind us, can you knock on this table right here? We're not gonna get you in any trouble. I know it's kind of late. Oh, goodness gracious. You know what's awful? What's that? I was gonna say, I feel like we should be paying attention to this hallway because we've been ignoring it. Yeah, and the music box goes off. Thank you for setting that off. Can you step in front of it again so it plays that song? All you gotta do is walk in front of it. It's on a chair down there. If you want to, you can walk into one of the other hallways, touch the top of these other devices. All they do is light up and make some noise. They're not gonna hurt you. Yo. That's the one behind us. That one's going nuts. That's the one behind us again. Yeah. Why is it localized in this hallway every time we know. turn our backs? Was it what? the music box? I didn't even hear it. I don't know what that was. It sounded like the music box. Can you step away from that for a second so it stops, please? You just gotta step back. Come over here. Set off another device. Step into this hallway. Touch top of this one. Does the same exact thing. That's going crazy. Yeah. Please step back. The music box did something similar in the five story though. It's it like, it would respond to like on command, it would go off a couple times and then it just kept going off. It was like someone was just standing in front of it. Come on down here. If you don't step back, we're gonna reset it. We're gonna turn it off. Make you use something else. I still don't understand. It's yeah. like someone's just sitting there grabbing the All top of a sudden, of out of nowhere. Yeah. We can use devices that'll record your voice. If you wanna talk to us. Yeah, why don't we, let's turn that off for a second. Yeah. Cause we might wanna do some EVPs. He's gonna turn that off, okay. But we're gonna use something else that might be easier for you to talk to us. You can come down here. We have three other devices still set up that'll let us know you're here. They do the same thing. That's what I hate about that though. That's two times already it does something like that. Yeah. It's like it's trying to lure me off to go alone though. Right. I kind of hate that a little bit. I don't. All right, well. Do you want to talk to us? We're going to take out these devices that record your voice. They're little silver boxes. They're not going to hurt you. All you got to do is come up to us and talk as close to them as you can, as loudly and as clearly as possible. They'll be able to record your voice and you can answer some questions for us, okay? You wanna do a quiet one first? Yeah. We All right, we're gonna start out with a quiet session, so we're not gonna ask you questions. This is gonna be your time. We're gonna to count to three, you talk to us. You can ask us questions if you want. Anything you wanna know, anything you wanna say, now will be the time. So on the count of three, come up and talk into these devices, okay? Ready? Yep. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right. 
Let's see. See, we got. see if they had anything to say. Really nothing it super clear. No. Quiet, but it's like chattering. There's just constant like little words popping through, but nothing super clear. It's like a deep voice. Yeah. So. It's weird. Right, let's see. What? What is that? What is it? That's, That's a so vocal. Weird voice. I just got like goosebumps. What is that. that? Play that again. Play that again. Play that again. I can't make it out. I, it's like dun it's dun like dun a dun. Rhyme almost. Bum 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 bum. Yeah. yeah. That's insane. I don't know what that is. Just the cadence of it sounds like it'd be like yeah, it's a like rhyme. bum 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 bum. Yeah, it's it's weird. It's a very vocal tone. Maybe like in editing, you'll be able to hear right, it better. Right, headphones on. Maybe I don't know. I can't That's make so out what it's saying. Why don't we do another one? Let's ask some questions. Um, you got a louder voice, so go back over that way. Yeah. I'll go back down this hallway a little bit by the room where I got my shirt pulled. Yeah, and see if anybody wants to talk to us. We'll do we'll do some questions. And the loudest one was in the hallway where that was just going right. Off. Where that was going crazy. Right. Yeah. All right, you go that way. I'll go this way. That's good. All right, Mr. Shirt Puller. Shirt Puller. Or Mrs. Shirt Puller, I guess. All right, you ready? Yep. One, two, three. We just heard your voice. We couldn't make out what you said. Can you try again? Can you say one of our names? Can you say Lee Allen Bryant? Can you give us your name so we know how to address you? Who pulled my shirt last year? Does something mean us harm? One, two, three. All right. Let's see what we got. All right, let's see. We just heard your voice. We couldn't make out what you said. Can you try again? Nothing clear. super clear. That's yeah. bizarre. I'm interested to see if you got more because that's where the clear one came from last time. Down the hallway, yeah. yeah. Let's see. There's something there. Play that back. Yeah, I can't make it out. There's something in there. Yeah. It's quiet. Sounds like it's it really, really quiet. Alan yeah. What? It's three words. Yeah. Can 
Can I make him? Music box. That was him, and then the music box goes off. And chills. Yeah. Yikes. That was him. It sounded like when I said, can you give us your name, too, it sounded like I said no. It was really quick. It was a short response. That was him, and then the music box goes off. Is there somebody down that hall? That's weird. It's getting behind us, though. Every yeah, time. Every single time. Every time so far tonight, it's been behind us. And they've been using the music box a lot. Like, right. I feel like the music box consistently has not gone off right. for a long time. Right. I don't know. Weird. Let's see if there's anything else on yeah. there. Yeah. No, that's it. That was it. <laughs> okay. So it was him. Then the music box goes off. Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's weird. This area is weird. Again, it's an uncomfortable area. Music box been going off. REM pod went crazy. A couple yeah. weird EVPs. That first one is super strange. Some of the noises, too. Like the knocks and the bangs. I mean, all night. It's been like that, though. That cadence in that first one is what really got me. Yeah. I don't know. It, it's bizarre. It's bizarre. I can't wait to come back here for my solo. Yeah, later. that'll be fun. It's really exciting. You're going to have so wait. much fun. <sighs> Yay. Um, all right. Let's move. Let's go to the admin. Let's go down to the basement of admin. Yeah. Let's go down by the morgue. Um, where we did not film last time we were here. Mm. So let's go down there. Let's go in the basement. Um, maybe try another quick ESSA session and then some more EVPs see if we can get some more communication before we go to our solos. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. All right, guys. So we moved over to the admin building. We're in the morgue area right now. We're going to do a quick ESSA and then do some EVPs before we break up into our final solos here at the Indiana State Sanatorium. So I'm going to hop into Estes and see what we get. Yeah, we haven't really spent a lot of time down here in the morgue, so I'm going to be interested to see what we get. Um, while he goes under, we have a Melmeter over here into the records room area. There's a music box out in the hallway, um, and we're just going to see if we can get any interaction from out there or in this room itself while he goes under. Um, like I said, we don't spend a ton of time down here, even when we investigate for like events and stuff. So I'm curious to see what kind of stuff we get in here. There's like a male voice. It was like mumbling though. My name is Steve. Dylan's over here in the chair. Anything you say to him, he'll be able to hear and he'll repeat back to me. Heard? You, you heard that? Okay. Is there anything you want to say? Any questions you have for us? I know people probably don't ask you if you have questions a lot. Can you tell me what this area was used for? It was like a kid's voice just came through. I couldn't tell what it said though. Kid's voice. So there were children's uh, dorms on this property for the TB hospital, but they are demolished now. They actually have basically the building we sleep in that's clean and you know renovated. Uh, that's on the, the spot of land where the children's wing was. Get out. Deep male voice. Are we not supposed to be in here? Are we going to get in trouble for being down in the morgue? Do you see anybody here with us besides just me and Dylan? I think I heard you upstairs earlier. What did you say? Go. Go. You want us to leave? Do you want us to leave the building or just leave this area? This area has a really weird vibe. For somewhere we don't spend a lot of time, I feel like we should start spending more time down here. It, it was like a female voice, I couldn't make it out. It feels like occupied, if that makes sense. It feels like there's people in this area. How many people do you see down here? Hello? Hello. There's something. There's something. Hello. Hello. How many people are in here? How many people are talking to us right now? That was a weird voice. Female voice said something. It was like, it was a weird tone though. Are you a nurse? A patient? Oh, I thought I just heard a voice out there. Never. You were never a nurse and never a patient? Why were you here? Do you know who's upstairs? It was like someone just took a breath in, really deep inhale. Really deep inhale. Are you having trouble breathing? 
Are you sick? Another female voice, I couldn't make it out though. In a minute, I'm gonna take him out from underneath with the headphones and we're gonna ask you some questions using a different device. Is there anything you wanna to say to him while you still can before I pull him out? Dead? Who's dead? Are we dead? Dylan's gonna come back you down. Will. You will. I mean, yeah, eventually we will all die. What happens when we die? What's it like? Sounds like someone just yelled. Is everything okay? Do you need help? Dylan's coming back to this building alone in a little bit. He'd love to see you. Will you show yourself to him? He'll be upstairs. Will you go up there and show yourself to him? I'm gonna take him out. We're gonna use those other devices, okay? Are you willing to talk to us? All right, I'm gonna pull him out. We're gonna do some EVPs in here. Ow. It's like a kid's voice again. All right, that makes sense. A little bit. There's a little kid's bit. voice, women's voice, male voices. Um, a lot of people yelled hello right when I asked how many people are down here. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of interesting. Um, some weird stuff, some weird stuff. I thought I heard another voice out there. Um, so I think we get right into EVPs, ask them a few questions, see if they want to communicate before we get into those solos. Right, let's do it. All right. Just it was weird, a lot of those voices, like they sounded distant. They sounded like really far away. Right. I don't know. We're gonna ask you some questions now using these other devices. Feel free to come up to us. Speak as loudly and as clearly as you can into these, okay? They're gonna record your voice. I'm gonna go over by this door. All right. All right, you ready? Yep. One, two, three. Who's in this building with us? Do you feel comfortable with us being in here? Do you see anyone with us? Who was the woman that keep trying to, kept trying to talk to me? Can you say tuberculosis? Is it easier for you to talk to us when we're alone? One, two, three. There's some weird noises going on out there. Yeah? Yeah, I can't tell if it's like footsteps or it almost sounds like stuff moving, like very, very faintly. I mean, the building's what, three more floors above this? Yeah. So it could be higher up. Right. That's, That's something we've experienced here before though. I know, it's weird. It sounded like somebody was like moving stuff around when I was in there my solo earlier too, loud, so. That'll be fun. Yeah, it That'll was weird. weird. Um, all right, so let's, uh, let's listen. Yeah, let's do it. Nothing, nothing, literally nothing on mine. I wonder if they're closer to you, like farther in here? Maybe, let's see. see. What? What? Does this say Christopher? Listen to that. And now that's going. And that goes off, Christopher. Yeah. And then that goes off for the first time this whole time down here. Wow. That doesn't make any sense though. He's back again? Or is it not the same guy? Because uh, last night at Randolph, we got Christopher as well. Right. But it wasn't Christopher Broadwell. It right. was just Christopher. Why, who, Who's this new guy? Why are there so many Chris's hanging out with? Yeah. I don't know. Well, anyway, keep playing that. That was kind of weird. Do you feel comfortable about being in here? Do you see anyone with that? Do you see anyone with that? Who was the woman that kept trying to talk to me? What? There's something there. Do you see anyone with us? I'm, 
coming? Like something so like, like that. I'm coming like I'm coming? Yeah. I'm coming, yeah. There's a lot there too. I can't make out what that last one says. No. It's, but it's like, words. okay, who's the woman that keeps trying to talk? She's like, I'm coming, like, I'm coming in. Yeah. That's really know. bizarre. Let's do let's do one more round. Let's do them both in here though, because that just like went off here. and yeah. it was closer in here. So let's do one more round of questions. Who's Christopher though? I don't know. I don't know. Unless it is him. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Let's ask some questions. Yeah. So go. we're gonna ask you a few more questions now, okay? Ready? Yep. What was that? I don't know. Hello? Is that talking? That's what I thought I heard out there, yeah. Hello? Can you come down here? Did you hear that? It's so like footsteps. Yeah, it's only somebody just like walking down yeah. here. It's like on the tile though. Yeah, on the tile right outside this door. Yeah. Are you walking into the morgue? It's like footsteps. It literally just sounds like somebody walking around out there. Yeah. All right, let's do one more session quick. So Ready? we can determine who this is. One, two, three. Who's walking around right outside this room? Someone said their name was Christopher. What's your last name, Christopher? Can you say Lee Allen Bryant? Is this negative thing still with me tonight? One, two, three. Let's play these back. Yeah. Dude, those footsteps are loud. They're so it literally sounded like it was right on the tile, right outside this door. Yeah, the first time I thought someone like had like broken in or something. Yeah. Good. Good. All right. Let's see. Who's walking around right outside this room? Oh. oh. Who's that? <laughs> Wait, there's something right before the it's screen, like, too. I don't know. No. That first one. I don't know what that scream is. No. That was a very loud scream. There's a couple words in it screams. Yeah. Cool. Let's see what let's see what yours says. Yeah. Who's walking around right outside this room? Someone said their name was Christopher. What's your last name, Christopher? Can you say we are Bryant? Really quiet. It goes Lee Allen Bryant. Yeah. What's your last name, Christopher? That's crazy. Lee Allen Bryant. Yeah. That's insane. I don't know what that's says. Lee Allen Bryant for yeah. sure, though. That was pretty cool. Yeah. So that's twice now, tonight, though. That they Both said times that. it's been kind of quiet. Yeah. I, I don't know. It almost sounds like the last word is up, but I can't make out the beginning part. Maybe when I put the headphones on, I will. Right. But again, they're they're talking. They're yeah. screaming. There's walking. There's stuff moving. You're going to have fun in here for It's going to be so great. I'm so excited. It's time. Yeah. It's Let's get up time. there. Let's get our stuff. Let's get ready. Let's do these last solos. Let's do it. Let's go. All right, guys, if you've been enjoying tonight's investigation here at the Indiana State Sanatorium and all this crazy activity we've been having, don't forget, drop down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you are notified every single week when we upload a brand new investigation. You're not gonna wanna miss next week's October finale. We return to the Conjuring House, so make sure you subscribe. Now let's get into these solos. All right, guys, it is that time of the night for second solos. I'm back down here in the nursing home, but obviously I do not have my camera in my hand. In honor of our first repeat location on the channel, we're throwing it back to the Alone series. Dylan's finally getting his revenge from the Madison Seminary coin flip. I'm gonna get zip tied to a chair in the nursing home, just like he did last year. 
Super excited about it. So I'm gonna do that. He's gonna go down to the admin building where we just had all that crazy activity. Music box is already going off, so that's super, super exciting stuff. So I'm gonna get zip tied right here, guys. Music box is over there. We have a mail meter down that hallway. You can also hear it has started raining a little bit, so you will hear some dripping in the background. Um, we'll point out anything that sounds different than that, but there is gonna be some rain. But without further ado, it is time for you to get your revenge and zip tie me to a chair. Revenge is sweet. Let's do it. Let's see. <sighs> That music box is still going off, so that's great. I mean, I had a great time, you know, being zip tied here uh, last Legs. year, so, you know. Got my DR60 in my hand. Here it's we gonna go. Be a, a great time. Well, well, got my DR60, so I guess what else do I know? That's good. Yeah, there you go. Nice and tight. Cool. Don't want you going anywhere, you know. Well, thanks. Yeah. All right, well, hope you have a great time here. Um, you look really comfortable. Yep. So that's good. It's great. Um, yeah, hopefully they uh, don't get you, I guess. Uh, this is ridiculous. Just want to point that out. That a oh, cool. Good luck down there. Oh, it's, it's dark. So as Steve pointed out, um, the rain did pick up. It's starting to rain kind of heavy now. So if you guys do hear some rain in the background, um, we're just going to ignore it. But if I hear like footsteps or something that sounds different, I will point it out because we have been hearing a lot of noises tonight. So I don't know. We'll see if they keep that up. Well, here I am. See, this is crazy. I won the coin flip last year. I shouldn't have to do this. Yet here I am, zip tied to a chair in one of the most haunted locations in the country. Why do we do this stuff? Why? So over here, I have a REM pod set up on that uh, desk right there. And then on the stairs, I have a mel meter. So see what we get in here. I also have the DR60s, or a DR60 rather, and uh, do some EVP sessions in here and see who wants to talk to us. But as you guys know, we film in IR. So this is what I'm gonna see for the rest of my solo. Cool. All right, so like I said, we have the music box in front of me down that hallway. Melmeter in the hallway over here where I got my shirt pulled last year. And uh, we're gonna do some EVP sessions and then we'll go from there. We're gonna do a handful of these. We'll see what we can get. I'm gonna start out with a quiet one first. One, two, three. One, two, three. Great, so the music box just went off. Let's, uh, let's play this back and see if they said anything. So just like Steve did, I have this little silver box right here. If you speak into it, I should be able to hear your voice. I also have a device set up on the staircase right here. One on the desk, you touch the top of it. All they do is light up, make some noise. Let me know that you're here. That's what I hate about this building, dude. There's so many doorways, so many windows. You just feel like you're always being watched. You're just always surrounded, which I mean, like, you know, for us, that's normal, but I don't know. I'm gonna try to do some EVPs, jump right into it. I'll do a quiet session first. So if you have anything you wanna tell me, you wanna say hi, you wanna tell me to get out, tell me how you're doing today, whatever it is. You have a message for me, you have a question for me. I'm gonna give you like 30 seconds. Just come over here, speak in this little silver box in my hand. I should be able to hear your voice. I can use this to talk to you, okay? Three, two, one. Three, two, one. I keep hearing noises. It sounds like like slow footsteps, like someone trying to like sneak around. And I kind of hate that. Here we go. That literally sounds like it says, get me out. What? It literally sounds like it goes, get me out. Me too. Like, I feel the same way. Yikes. I, I feel like I just need to keep looking around. Like my head's on a swivel. I don't know. Very uncomfy, very uncomfy in here. Let's see what we got though. Hmm. 
What? There's something right there too at the beginning. Get out of here at the end, right there. It's like, get out of here. What is that last one? That is a weird voice. I don't know what that says. Definitely says get out of here at some point. Um, well, I guess I did say they could tell me to get out. It's kind of dumb on my part. All right, let's get into some questions. Oh, good, they're here. So let's ask some questions real quick and see if we can get some answers about who wants to get out of here besides me. One, two, three. Who's down the hallway right now? Are you being mistreated here? Can you see me? One, two, three. There was a really loud bang down that hall to my right. Um, not the rain, not the rain. I'm just gonna ask you a couple more questions. I just wanna talk to you for a little bit then I'm gonna be out of your hair. Steve and I are gonna pack up, we're gonna go home. We're gonna leave you alone, okay? I just wanna ask you a couple more questions. I wanna to get to know you. I wanna hear about the history of this location from you. Okay? Let's try again. Three, two, one. Do you not like having visitors? Can you see me right now? All right, let's play this back and see if, see if they answered anything. Who's down the hallway right now? Are you being mistreated here? Can you see me? Yes, it goes, yes. Yes. One, two, Good. Three. All right. What is the name of the town that we're in currently? Three, two, one. I don't know where to look. Like I said, I just feel like I'm surrounded. I mean, this is the front door to the building right here, but there's just like so many different doorways all throughout this building. I hate it quite a lot. This place is one of the like creepiest places to be in. Like just aesthetically, the, the hallways go on forever. It's dark, it's abandoned, it's beat up. You know the history here, it's, it's a dark history. This wasn't a happy place. So like, it's a really uncomfortable place to be, especially by yourself, especially zip tied to a chair. This place is, one of the freakiest places we go. Let's get into some more questions. I'm gonna ask him a, a few more things, see if we can get any responses before, uh, hopefully Dylan comes and lets me out and uh, we call it a night here at Indiana State Sanatorium. I thought I just saw someone standing there. I'm not even capping right now. That was so weird. Oh, wow. All my hair just stood up. Like I flipped that light around, like, cause my viewfinder on the camera has like a little bit of ambient light and I flipped it around so I could point the camera at myself. I, it was like a white face right there, dude, next to that pillar. Oh, I'm shook right now. Whew, I need a minute. One, two, three. Were you a patient or a staff member here? Is there anybody in this hall with me that's not from this location?
We've gotten the name Christopher a few times in the last couple nights. What's your last name, Christopher? One, two, three. That was so, that was so clear. It was literally just a face sitting there, like staring right at me. Oh my Lord, dude. I'm shook right now. Ah, my eyes are watering. That's crazy. I need a minute. Wow. I'm at a loss for words. That shook me up, dude. It was, look, dude, the fact that it was looking at me, like if I close my eyes right now, I can see it. It was just, it was just the face. All I saw was like just a bright white face and it was just looking at me. Oh my God, dude, that was so bad. I still have goosebumps. Oh my Lord. All right, let's see if this picked up anything. Do you not like having visitors? It's like whispering. fuck was that? It was like something just like rolled. That was like Malvern Manor. It was like something just rolled. That was so bizarre. Now that's going off. Were you a patient or a staff member here? Is there anybody in this hall with me that's not from this location? We've got another staff member here. Is there anybody in this hall with me that's not from this location? We've got the name Christopher a few times in the last couple nights. What's your last name, Christopher? There's something that I can't make it out and play that. times in the last couple nights. What's your last name, Christopher? I don't know. I can't make it out. There's definitely responses after a few of those questions, but nothing super, super clear. So let's get into our last one. One more round of questions. And then I just sit here and wait for Dylan, I guess. So hopefully he's not going to take too long, but uh, let's get into this last round. See if we can get some final answers, final results here from Indiana State uh, before we wrap it up for the night. There's a lot going on right now. Can you step back, please? Thank you. Very kind. Let's listen to the rest of this. What is the name of the town that we're in currently? Three. I don't know. Nothing too clear on that one. Um, I need to ask who that was, though. That was crazy. Very interesting, too, like the white face. I've only seen that a couple times. Ashmore States, I saw it on one of the live streams we were doing. Um, Hillview Manor, like the first ever big uh, ghost hunting trip I went on was the Hillview Manor in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. I saw it there. Like, I don't know if this is the same entity that's been following me around since I was like 16, but this, I feel like I've seen this face before. The fact that it was just so, oh, that freaked me out, dude. That shook me up. One, two, three. I've been coming here for the last few years now. If you know me, can you say my name? How many people are in this hallway with me right now? Do you like when people come to talk to you? We're gonna leave. Can you say good night or goodbye? One, two, three. I feel like my head has to be on a swivel here. Like I have to keep looking down all these hallways. Unfortunately, I can't see the one behind me, but I have to keep looking down all these hallways because it's just a really unnerving feeling here. You just feel like you're being watched from every single angle. Let's see if they said anything in that last series. All right, I'm gonna see if I can decipher who this is. Three, two, one. 
If I just saw you, what's your name? Have you been following me since I was younger? I've been coming here for the last few years now. If you know me, can you say my name? How many people are in this hallway with me right now? Do you like when people come to talk to you? We're gonna leave. Can we say good night or goodbye? Oh, it says good night. It goes good night. We're gonna leave. Can we say good night or goodbye? Good night. That's insane. That's so clear. They're probably like, get out. Good. Why are you zip tied to a chair in the middle of our lobby? Get out. But they said good night. That's awesome. That shows intelligence, though. What a weird, weird location. Do you affect the residents of these locations that we go to? Is that how you get power? Three, two, one. Dude, I'm still like flabbergasted. I, that face, it was just, I, I'm at a loss for words. I don't know how to describe it. It was just like a stark white face. And it, the, like, I flipped the viewfinder around to flip my camera around and it was just staring at me. Dude, it was right next to that column. Like, just saying that brings, like, makes my eyes water. I hate that so much, dude. Wow, all right. Let's send this back, see if we got a response as to who this is. Because that was freaking nuts, dude. If I just saw you, what's your name? Have you been following? What? It's like, you know. If I just saw you, what's your name? Have you been following me? I can't tell. You younger? Do you affect? That's such if a I deep just voice. Saw you, what's your name? Have you been following me since I was younger? You know where I'm from, maybe? If I just saw you, what's your name? Have you been following me since I was younger? There's something right there, dude. What's your name? Have you been following me since I was younger? Do you affect the residents of these locations that we go to? Is that how you get power? I can't make those out, dude. That first one sounds like it says, you know where I'm from. But that's going to be it, guys. Waiting for Dylan. I guess I'll just sit here and wait, but what a strange investigation tonight. We had some really, really cool activity. Um, bangs, footsteps, voices. It's been pretty much everything. We had good EVPs, good Estes sessions. Indiana State Sanatorium does not let us down anytime we're here. We always get really good activity. It's why we came back. It's why it's our first return location on the channel. Um, it's definitely somewhere we're going to continue to come for a very, very long time. The, the intelligence here blows us away every single time, and uh, it's something that you know, not every location has. So that's it on Indiana State, guys. We will wrap this up for you, and uh, that'll be it. That, I, I mean, I don't. We've gotten the Sally house. We've gotten the Conjuring house. Like, that face, dude, I, every time I look over there, I just expect to see it again. That shook me up, man. That's so weird. I don't know why it only shows up at certain locations, though. I don't see it at every single location. You know what I mean? Oh, dude. All right, I'm going to do my last session. I'm going to go let Steve out. This took a wild turn. I did not expect this whatsoever. All right, let's do this. Three, two, one. I don't know where you're from. Can you say what state you followed me from? I guess I'll just sit here and wait. It's been real. It's been fun. It hasn't been real fun. Take your time, Dylan. Not going anywhere. Neither are they, apparently. Zip ties are really uncomfortable. Oh my god. 
Holy hell. That was a person. There was a person standing right there. That was such a clear shadow figure. Where did they go? That was right there. That, I just jumped so bad. Oh my God. Okay, he can hurry up now. Holy shit. Um, so I had already wrapped this up guys, but I'm still sitting here waiting for Dylan. And I just turned and looked down that hallway and there is a door at the end of the hallway that goes outside. So there's, there's ambient light down there. And there was a person standing right there in that doorway. Holy shit. That was so solid. I jumped so bad because I did not expect that. Hello? Why me? Why out of every investigator did you choose to follow me? You keep saying that you're building up to hurt me. Are you just trying to scare me? Or do you actually mean me harm? Three, two, one. All right, dude, I hope I get some answers. I've been asking these same questions so many times. Like every location that we go to, we get this negative thing that comes through. And it doesn't give us clear answers. It doesn't give us a name. It doesn't give us a clear, like sometimes it'll say Kansas. Sometimes it'll say Sally. You know, some people think it comes from the Conjuring House or the Monroe Demon House. Dude, I don't know. I just want to know where it came from and why it's following me. Okay, well, that was a change. That was a very, very big change. They've been kind of standoffish down there by the music box and stuff. Melmeter hasn't gone off at all. This was right there, maybe 15 feet down the hall. Holy crap. I don't know where they went. I just looked and then they were gone. I don't know which way they went. And now it's the metal on the stairs is going off. All right, I'm gonna listen to this back. I need to, I need to listen to this. Can listen to that one more time. I don't know where you're from. Can you say what state you followed me from? Why me? Can't make it out. Why out of every investigator did you choose to follow me? It's like a full sentence. Why me? Why out of every investigator did you choose to follow me? Because it's like because I know. I wanna. Is he saying that you're building up to hurt me? Are you just trying to scare me? Or do you actually mean me harm? I want it? Dude, I don't know. These cameras are heavy, by the way. My shoulder really hurts. But um, not really any clear answers. I couldn't make out a name, where it came from. There's something there. Maybe when Steve listens back on the headphones, he can make it out. Dude, that face, I keep. Like, I keep expecting to see it every time I pan over there, every time I flip the viewfinder around like that. I expect to see it just stand like, oh, dude, it was like, it was like my height too. It wasn't like on the ground. Ah, dude. All right, I'm gonna go grab Steve. Um, I'm ready to leave. Um, I've had enough. I gotta go. I literally turned on my light to leave and now that's going nuts. That's gotta be a joke. That's gotta be a joke. Thanks. All right, I'll catch you later, ISS. You've been freaking nuts tonight. I'm all good, we can get out now. What? We can wrap that up. Let's, let's, uh, let's call it a night. We gotta go. All right, guys, we just completed our second solos here at the Indiana State Sanatorium, and that's a wrap on our investigation here. This place never lets us down, and no. that's why we came back for the first repeat location on this channel. They're intelligent, they're in your face, 
And they're, they're everywhere. Yeah, I mean, I find it very interesting that when we did our second solos, when we've been in the building for a while, we both saw something during our solos. It was just very in your face, like you said. Yeah, I want to point out the fact that I won the coin flip last year, so I didn't have to do that. And I had to do it anyways. And it wasn't fun. It's very nostalgic, you know? Yeah, for who? It wasn't great. I mean, hope you guys enjoyed it. It uh, will not be happening again. <laughs> but that's it, guys. Indiana State Sanatorium is absolutely insane. It's one of our favorite locations. It always delivers. It's time for us to get back on the road, get some more spots, and uh, see what else we can find. Let's do it. Let's go.